Okay, uh, so hello. Um, it's me, Laura, and Mateo here. Um, we're going to work through building out one of the uh, community pages, community sub pages that exists on about.getlab.com, the marketing site, um, using this new custom template that has a kind of drag and drop reordering feature. There's a set number of template um, pieces, components that we can use to build out this page. Um, so we'll get into that a little bit and we'll kind of live build out a page uh, using the CMS. Um, Mateo worked on all of these pieces um, along with John, one of our other engineers. Um, they built out a bunch of components that are ready to use and you can just drag and drop them on the screen and like add new components and reorder them. And it's like really handy to use. They're like a preset list of components to build entire pages for. So I'm gonna share my screen. We're gonna work through it together. Um, Mateo is gonna interrupt me if I do anything wrong. Um, and okay, okay, so. Here we are um, in Contentful, um, just a brief kind of navigation thing here is I'm on the about.getlab.com space. Um, that's where I want my new web page to be. Um, and on these tabs here, um, if it's your first time landing uh, in Contentful, I wanna be on the content tab. That's where all the content is for the website. Um, and on this uh, kind of search and filter bar, I have custom page selected. There's a ton of different options here, but where we wanna be is custom page. Um, this is, um, a specific type of page that our code knows how to read and build um, a, an entire page with a URL and SEO data and stuff um, from this one page. And we're gonna be using components that also have the same icon um, beside it, the hammer and nail, wrench, hammer and wrench icon um, to build out our page. So we're gonna start with a custom page. Uh, the page in question here that I wanna convert is this uh, community slash contribute page. Uh, it's got a hero, it's got some text, it's got, what look like cards. So I'll probably use a card component and then a few more text components. So we'll move this over. Um, what I'm gonna start with on Contentful is um, adding a new custom page component. So up here at entry, custom page. It brings me to this page. Um, so page name is exactly what it sounds like. It's the name of the page. Um, this is uh, what I'm gonna do is community. I'm trying to make this descriptive. It is internal and whatever the sub page is, contribute. Okay, um, I'm also, while I, I have this here, I'm gonna add the slug, which is the URL. Um, it mentions on Contentful, um, the URL should have a trailing and a leading slash. Uh, so make sure you have both of those. We've got a front and an end slash. Um, and then SEO meta metadata. For this, I actually have the page open and I'm gonna use the existing uh, title and description that exist on the metadata of the page. So this isn't visible on the page. Um, it's just uh, information about the page. So if I look for a title, it's right here, tribute to GitLab. I'll add here, um, the only type of content that belongs in SEO metadata, the only one it'll let you add is this SEO um, content type. I actually think I may have created one of these. Yeah, I, I did create this earlier. Um, so I would go in here, I would add that title that I just searched for. And I also have a description um, in here that I would grab. Description, learn how to contribute to GitLab, yada, yada, yada. Um, so that's what I have in the title and description fields. I also added it in the open graph title and description, um, but that's ready to go. Um, so SEO data doesn't appear on the page, but it's there now. This stuff is stuff that actually visually appears on the page. Um, so this is gonna be the hero of the page um, and I'm gonna grab it directly from what exists on the page. So contribute to GitLab, it's my header. Dates, this is just the date the page was created. Um, it's not gonna appear on the page, but I'll put today's date. Um, we also have the ability to activate a side navigation, a side menu that um, has anchor links to each section of the page. This one doesn't really have anything like that. Um, so I'm gonna say no to a side menu. We don't really have a subheader on this hero, but we do have this description. And the reason why I'm putting this section in um, description instead of subheader is we have both options, um, but description, this big text box shows that it um, is kind of a large text box field and we can do things like have markdown and links in this type of field. So I'm gonna use the descri description field um, and grab this hackathon link um, so that that works. And markdown should look pretty familiar. Um, to content editors. We can also take a little look to make sure that that link appears in the preview. Um, so that all looks good. In this hero, we don't have any buttons, um, CTAs. So I'm gonna leave these CTA sections blank. And then we get to the bread and butter of the page. So this is the page content. Um, so 
in here is where we get to add content that are gonna be all the ones that start with that hammer and nail. Um, if you wanna see kind of what these look like and decide what type of content you wanna put on the page, um, I'll link this uh, handbook entry in the YouTube video so that you have access to it. Um, but this is this uh, custom pages handbook page and it kind of gives an overview of what we're talking about here. Um, but this is the header that we just filled out. So you have the option of a button and a text link um, if you wanted them. Then we've got some some other pieces, this text block as exactly what you think it is, text, headers, pictures, videos, just kind of generic content. Uh, CTA is gonna be a button, um, like button card, whatever section, uh, card block and card block cards. Uh, these are a section of cards and you can kind of talk about, uh, decide what columns you want and the layout that you want for cards. And same with landing grid, you can have two column landing grid here. Um, for, for content type. So this, for this page, just kind of looking at it visually, it looks like we've got a header and text kind of component here. Looks like we've got some cards. So we'll start there and we'll start building that out. Um, so I'm gonna go here and do text block. Um, this internal name, again, doesn't appear on the page, but I wanna make it kind of descriptive. descriptive. Community. Um, and I'm gonna call it whatever the title of this section is. Um, Cause this is one of the community pages tutorial, make a GitLab contribution. Um, we never used a side navigation side menu for this page. So I'm gonna leave this blank, but in the header, I'm gonna put tutorial, make a GitLab contribution. And then I'm gonna have this little section of text in the text box. And again, this big text box is something that we can use Markdown in. Um, so I'm gonna grab this link that I see here and add it in. Nope. And there's the rest of the text there. Uh, we don't have any buttons or anything below here. So again, I can kind of leave a lot of this stuff. If I had an image, I could pop it in or a video URL, um, but this is a pretty basic component. So that looks good. Um, I'm also going to add these six cards. Um, I was working on this earlier. So I'm gonna go in here and add, what is it called? Contribution guidelines. Yeah, I've already been working on this. So I'm gonna, to save time, um, add in this, uh, piece of content, but if I wanted to start from scratch, I would go add content, card block, and it would bring me to this screen and I'd fill in all of these parts. Um, so this is the internal name. We've got a header that says contribution guidelines. And then each of these pieces of content uh, represents a card. So I've got a development card, documentation, translation, UX design, um, evangelism. So that's all of these. And I haven't made this project template one, so we'll do this one together. So if I go back, I wanna add a new card to my list of cards here. I'm gonna add the only type of card, uh, content it allows me to add, which is a card. Um, the internal name, I'm gonna follow the pattern. Wow, typing is hard. Community, and I'm gonna call it project templates. And the header of the card is the same, project templates. And we've got a description here. And I'm deciding from a kind of design perspective that this link more on evangelism, more on whatever, um, we probably don't need an actual text link. I just want the whole card to go there because um, that's a little bit redundant to have the same link title. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the URL as the link. If there was an icon on the card, I would add it in here, but there isn't. Um, so that's ready to go. So we now have all of these pieces of content. Now we've put in a few things on this page and I kind of want to get a visual of how it looks. Um, so I'm gonna go into open live preview and start looking at, at what we've got. So this is looking pretty good. We've got um, a hero, Next GitLab Hackathon is right around the corner. We've got this tutorial section here, which is header link. We've got working links, which is all great. We've got some cards, which is looking really good. Um, so we can keep on building here. I haven't built any of the rest of this yet, so we'll do that together. Um, so this pair with other contributors looks a lot like the tutorial section, um, just header of text and then some, some text links in there. So I'll go in here and add a new piece of content. I could do all of it right from the sidebar here. I'm gonna add another text block, I'm gonna call it, hey, I think I typed it right on the first try that time. Okay, pair with contributors. And I'm gonna call the header the same thing. And I'm gonna grab all of this text. There's a few links in here that I'll have to edit. What we got? Virtual community events meetup group. Virtual community events meetup group. And 
Uh, oh, that should have been around the word GitLab too. I'm gonna edit that here. Markdown. Okay. Um, contributors on Discord. Copy this address too. And one more here. Community coders YouTube channel. And I think that was it for this section. So I think that's all good. Um, I'm going to go back here and this up here. I might need to spam the refresh on here. Okay, we have it down here now. We've got all those links looking good. So we're trucking right along. Um, I will go back to my page here. Um, I'm going to add another component, which is going to be more um, additional text. It looks like all of these are, are pieces of text. So We'll just dive right into it. Um, add content, text block. I call this. Oh, I wasn't typing. Okay. This can't help. Hold this in. Okay. Slide this over. I want to make sure that we have, like, we maintain the formatting here. Did this work? I think we lost our numbers. Let me exit out of this for a sec. I want a full width screen to look at this. Uh, oh no, it wasn't there. My apologies. So there's one and then we can do all of this. And I think this was a sub point. One, and we'll see if this is looking right. Okay, we're having some things happening here. Which is a comment to join the community. I just slacked you the whole markdown for that part so that <laughs> you can just. You didn't want to watch me do all of this? All right, copy. Just just so you didn't have to type it all. Thank you. Oh yeah, there we go. Okay, let's see, did this work? There's still some spacing. One. This guy goes all the way. This is sub. Hopefully the tabbing works here. Did any of this work? All right. Did I get that right? Uh, I don't know if we need to. One more one. one. Okay, I'm gonna assume that that's correct. And our links are working, great, okay. We can also edit that if it ends up not being right. Um, and one thing I forgot here was to add the header because this internal name doesn't actually appear on the page. So I wanna make sure get help stays there. Don't think there was any CTAs. Okay, we have another one. Uh, I'm gonna go back to my live preview and see how that looks. Okay, so I'm still doing this. Go in here. There we go. Um, I've noticed like in Tenfold, sometimes you need to click on a thing to get it to kind of refresh the thing that you just edited. So that's all I did there was just clicking on this actual component because um, it still looked like the old version. Um, so that might just be a, a refresh thing. But yeah, that's looking really good. I think I've got it mostly right. So yay, good. Uh, and then this one looks a lot easier, which is great. I'm gonna add another text block. Everyone can contribute, toss that in the header, and grab this guy also. And I'll do my slow markdowning here. Go to conduct page. And 
Yes, whole sentence. Um, I might kind of edit some of these to not be the full, like do a relative path instead of a full absolute path. Um, get rid of some of that stuff, but yeah, otherwise, I think that's looking good. Um, okay, cool. And where's my thing? Where did you go? Refresh, yeah, okay. Okay, and the last little piece is there is this um, text field. I'm just gonna add this as a header text um, in here. Um, we could choose a different type of content if we wanted to, but I think that, well, I wonder if I can put it in here as like a super big, no, the header looks good. I think that's right. All right, so that component exists now too. And this page is looking really strong. Um, we have all of the components that exist on here, um, assuming that this information is all um, up to date, this would be ready to publish um, if I wanted to publish it. Um, so clicking this publish button, it's all in draft right now. Um, so this is all, none, none of this will appear live on the site until I hit publish. And when it, I hit publish, um, it'll kick off a pipeline and that page will appear at the URL that we specified. Um, this about duckgatelab.com slash community slash contribute. Um, so that's pretty much it. It's a really quick way of just putting and content together yeah sorry. just to add there you do need to publish the children and the page and mm -hmm. there's a tab up above references which can help publish everything at the same time yes good call out <laughs> that yeah we want to make sure if i were to just um publish this page it only publishes the page and not the things that it contains so that is a good call out um, you'd end up with kind of an empty page uh so yeah good call out there should we do it with it? Like, is it time or should we just leave it? I don't know. Yeah, let's publish it. Oh my gosh. Okay. How exciting. I'm going to select all um, and I'm going to hit publish all. Um, and if you don't have access to that publish button, um, we're managing different types of roles and permissions for different people. Um, so um, check with our team uh, if you should be having publish access or if your manager um, has publish access, they should be able to upgrade you to whatever role you need. Um, but yeah. Uh, this is also something that you can share with your colleagues and, and see like for review, um, make sure that it all looks good to everyone before publishing. Um, but yeah, we just committed. So you can see that all of the sub items in here are also published um, by doing that, that publish all. Um, so I'm going to stop the recording there. This is going to take probably 15 minutes or so to, to run. And yeah, I'll let, any closing words before I stop the recording? No, it's just there? going to say that yeah, the pipeline takes around 10 to 15 minutes to run. And after that, it should be live. Yeah, yeah. So that'll be good. And I'll include a link to the live page in the YouTube video description. So you can like and subscribe the page. <laughs> okay, well, thank you so much. And uh, yeah, reach out on Slack digital experience team if you need any help, um, we're here to help. And if you need a, a big piece, if you wanna request a new component or something that doesn't already exist in that handbook page, um, create an issue and send it to our team and, and we can prioritize that accordingly. Yeah. That's it, and I'll stop the recording.